so certainly a lot of uh, plot devices were you know appeared in this episode a lot of interesting things happened and kind of found out more so the first thing that kind of comes to mind was when Akari had that little power surge and she says that she has been having a weird a uh, weird feeling since the pandemonium since she was thrown in the pandemonium and when she had that little power power surge she felt like that she knew that something was wrong cuz a lot of events were happening that didn't happen in the other timelines so that's a, that's a very big worry the other thing that comes to mind was when the blue haired girl had her conversation with Akari saying that when you know she she knows what power she Akari has and um you know my question is you know how does she know and she also knows the fact that she's an otherworlder um so um i think um her mom was in other world that's how she knows and a little side note was she also said that she wanted her uh time like she wished she had her power possibly to you know revive her mother i guess and um you know that's what led me to believe that the blue girl uh, knew knew Akri's power like what she had so she knew um the last thing I kind of want to mention before I wrap up is um uh towards the end we get um the final scene was, was when Akri kind of followed the blue haired girl like she snuck into the meeting and she used her powers to freeze everyone in the room in time so they can't move or they can't hear like pretty much statues and you know she wants to have a little chat with her and about you know this stuff and oh I forgot to mention this but um when when the blue haired girl was talking in the room it sounded like um she it sounded like she was talking to someone like a higher up and we kind of see the shadow of this higher up and it turned out to be the kid that she originally put her in the iron maiden back in i believe two episodes ago she did that so it does make me question, you know, how is this possible? I thought she would be dead. But um, I have a little theory that she's actually, you know, kind of immortal. Like um, her power is um, she can regenerate really fast. And so she sacrifices herself in order to, you know, keep producing those um, the drugs that they make. So um, that's my little theory I have on who the real mastermind is. But um, those are kind of things that stuck out to me. Please leave a like if you like the video. Please subscribe for more and leave a comment on your thoughts and opinions of this episode. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.